Google just leaked their 2026 master plan. And if you think AI is wild now, you haven't seen anything yet. Gemini 4 is about to make ChatGPT look like a calculator from 1987. Look, I know what you're thinking. Another AI deep dive, really? But just hear me out. What Google is building with Gemini 4 is not another chatbot upgrade. This is the tech equivalent of going from a horse and buggy straight to a Tesla Roadster that also flies and makes you breakfast. Remember when Google released Gemini 1.5 and the consensus was, meh, it's fine. Yeah, Google remembers too, and they took that personally. Because what's coming next isn't about catching up to OpenAI, it's about lapping them twice while eating their lunch. So buckle up, we're diving into Google's 2026 AI master plan, and this is the kind of stuff that'll make you rethink your career, your investments, and maybe your entire existence. Let's rewind for a second. In 2023, OpenAI dropped ChatGPT and basically became the cool kid at school overnight. Google? Google was the class valedictorian who suddenly realized the cool kid was getting all the attention. It was... awkward. But here's the thing about Google. They don't stay down for long. They have more computing power than a small country, more data than the Library of Congress times a million, and more PhDs than you can shake a stick at. So while everyone was busy making memes about ChatGPT writing their essays, Google was in the lab, building something that would make us all go, wait. What? Enter Gemini 4. This is Google's next generation AI rattle, and it's a total reimagining of what artificial intelligence can be. Think of it this way. If Gemini 1.5 was a really smart intern, Gemini 4 is the CEO, the CFO, and the entire board of directors all rolled into one. Here's what we know so far. First, it has multimodal mastery on steroids. Gemini 4 doesn't just understand text, images, and video. It thinks across them all simultaneously. You could show it a blurry photo of your grandma's handwritten recipe from 1952, ask it to convert it into a TikTok cooking video script, and it would do it while suggesting wine pairings. I'm not even joking. Second is its real-time reasoning. Current AI models are like students who crammed the night before an exam, Gemini 4 is the kid who actually understands the material. It can reason through complex problems in real time, adjust its thinking mid-conversation, and even admit when it's wrong. Think about that. But this next part, this is where it gets spicy. They're calling it agentic AI, and it's the game changer. Gemini 4 isn't just going to answer your questions, it's going to do things for you. Book your flights, negotiate your bills, manage your calendar, and probably do your taxes better than your accountant. It's like having a personal assistant that never sleeps, never complains, and works for free. So why is Google going all in on this? Three words. Total market domination. Phase one is integration everywhere. Google is going to bake Gemini 4 into everything. Gmail, check. Google Docs, check. YouTube, double check. Your smart fridge, probably. By 2026, you won't be able to escape Gemini 4 even if you tried. Phase two is the enterprise takeover. While OpenAI is busy with consumer apps, Google is targeting businesses. Imagine every company using Gemini 4 to automate customer service, analyze data, and make critical decisions. We're talking billions in revenue and a competitive moat so wide you'd need a spaceship to cross it. And phase three? This is the sneaky part, the hardware play. Google is also upgrading their TPU chips, tensor processing units. Faster chips means faster AI, which means they can outpace competitors on pure performance. It's like showing up to a bike race with a motorcycle. Google isn't just trying to win the race. They're trying to build the whole race track, own the vehicles, and rewrite the rules before anyone else even gets to the starting line. Let's continue with what this means for you. The reality check. Okay, so Google's building Skynet 2.0. What does that mean for regular people like you and me? For workers, if your job involves repetitive tasks, data entry, or basic analysis, I've got bad news. But if you're creative, strategic, or work with people, you're golden. Gemini 4 will be your superpower, not your replacement. For investors, Google stock, Alphabet, is about to get very interesting. If Gemini 4 delivers even half of what's promised, we're looking at a potential market cap explosion. Not financial advice, but 
you know, for entrepreneurs. This is your moment. Gemini 4 will democratize AI tools, meaning you can build products that would have required a team of 50 engineers just two years ago. The playing field is leveling up. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. What about ChatGPT? OpenAI isn't sitting still. They've got GPT-5 in the works, and rumor has it it's going to be insane. But here's Google's advantage. They own the infrastructure. YouTube, Search, Android, Chrome. Google controls the pipes, and that's a massive edge. It's like OpenAI is building the best car in the world, but Google owns all the roads. But wait, there's another player in this AI cage match that everyone's sleeping on, Claude, made by Anthropic. While OpenAI gets all the headlines and Google flexes its infrastructure muscles, Claude's been quietly becoming the thinking person's AI. It's like the indie band that's actually better than the mainstream stuff, but your cool friend won't shut up about it. Here's why Google should be worried about Anthropic. First, it's Safety Edge with Constitutional AI. Anthropic built Claude with safety baked into its DNA. While other AIs occasionally go rogue or say weird stuff, Claude's designed to be helpful, harmless, and honest. It's the AI equivalent of that friend who always designated drives. Boring, maybe? Trustworthy? Absolutely. Then there's the enterprise love affair. Big companies are falling for Claude hard. Why? Because when you're a Fortune 500 company, you don't want an AI that might accidentally leak trade secrets or say something that gets you sued. Claude's reliability is its superpower, and enterprises are willing to pay premium prices for that peace of mind. And finally, the Amazon wildcard. Plot twist, Amazon invested $4 billion into Anthropic. That means Claude has access to AWS infrastructure, the backbone of the internet. Google might own the roads, but Amazon owns the warehouses, the delivery trucks, and half the supply chain. So here's the real battle shaping up for 2026. Google's trying to be everywhere, OpenAI's trying to be the smartest, and Anthropic's trying to be the most trusted. Three different strategies, one massive market. And honestly, there's room for all three. But if Gemini 4 stumbles, Claude's waiting in the wings to catch those enterprise contracts. Google knows this, which is why they're going all in. The AI wars aren't just heating up, they're about to go nuclear. So, will Gemini 4 change everything? Honestly, yeah, probably. We're entering an era where AI isn't just a tool, it's a collaborator, a coworker, and maybe even a competitor. The question isn't whether AI will transform society, it's whether we're ready for it. Google's 2026 master plan is ambitious, audacious, and a little bit terrifying. But if they pull it off, we're looking at a future that's smarter, faster, and way more interesting than anything we've seen before. So keep your eyes on Gemini 4, because ready or not, the future is coming, and it's being built in Mountain View, California.